Our area's final two teams left standing are Naperville Central and Wabonzi Valley, and after much hype, they meet for a chance for the third round of the 8A playoffs. There's no score after a quarter, so we're skipping straight ahead to the second, where it's 3-0 Central. Zach Benema has shown the ability to throw and run as QB1. Here he is picking up 34 yards on the ground to the Central 15-yard line. Less than two minutes left to play in the first half, Bonzi finally cracks the scoreboard against one of the state's best defenses. Max Irie gets around left tackle and is in from 10 yards out. Warriors up 7-3 at in intermission. With his team fighting from behind in the third quarter, Kevin Clifford finds a crease on the left side of the line, then cuts it back near side for a big gain. He's pushed out of bounds, but we'll hear more from Clifford a bit later on. That eventually sets up a fourth and ten for the Red Hawks. Coach Mike Stein elects to roll the dice and go for it. QB Connor Joyce runs around for a bit in the backfield then finally fires downfield for Kevin Haybrock. His defender slips in the end zone to free him up, 10-7 central. Now the script is flipped once again as Dub V has to face a deficit. Four minutes left to play in the third quarter. Benema finds Justin Rich. He's down all the way at the one-yard line. Benema runs the ball in on the next play, 14-10 Warriors. More back and forth action. Now in the fourth quarter, Clifford not ready to call it quits on his senior season as he runs wild on this drive. He caps it off with a beautiful 17-yard score, part of his 244-yard effort. 17-14 Redhawks with nine minutes left. After Bobby McMillan picks off Benema, Central goes three and out. That's usually not a good thing, but on this particular play, having to punt works out. Keaton Casey muffs the punt on the other end. McMillan, right place, right time to fall on it. Two plays later, Clifford punches it in from nine yards out on his second score of the day, 24-14 with five minutes left. That means Bonzi needs to score and score quickly, but on the ensuing drive, Benema's pass is tipped by Dan Del Grosso and picked off by Cameron Connors. Naperville Central moves on. The Warriors wrap up their impressive season with a 9-2 record. We're really coming together as a team. I, I like our chances with uh, this next game, but I mean, we really can't look past this next game. Uh, they're going to be a great team no matter who we play. And, you know, we got to take it week in and week out. We beat two great teams so far. Wabonzi and Brother Rice are both two unbelievable teams. So, you know, I really like where we're sitting right now, but we got to get a lot better. Playing from behind is always tough, but this team's been battle tested all year and dealt with enormous amount of adversity, and that just comes accustomed to our team. We had it, we had it again today, and we battled through it and came out on top. You know, we came a lot closer than the last few years, so we're happy with what we have so far. Nah, obviously we wanted more than what we have right now, but. Well, things happen. Just being with my guys every day, day in, day out. Um, that's probably what you remember about football is the relationships you build. And, you know, uh, we've preached that, just building relationships with everybody. You know, I came in, into the school and I knew three kids on the football team because um, my middle school gets split up. And, uh, you know, I got 60 brothers now, and, and I love that, man. I couldn't ask more out of the team. To go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys, you know, for three quarters, was a great accomplishment. We got every ounce of ability that we could get out of this team. And I couldn't be happier than uh, the legacy that they're leaving behind. 